in the beginning, you almost think this is going to be a white collar film because it starts off in the rich people's backyard, but trust me, it's not the case. There's a teacher teaching something to his or her students that more than likely they'll never use. And as much as I want to blame the students, I blame the school system because shortly after, the teacher lets some people get wasted right in front of their supervision. How are you supposed to teach somebody arithmetic when you can't even teach them to say no to drugs? Once the drugs start wearing off, the main character's clothes wear off too and the audience sees what they're working with. The movie starts moving pretty fast after they got high and the film starts throwing random characters at you like a DC movie. There's the white animal that walks across the screen like he's too good to say hi to somebody. The weird striped jungle cat that nobody calls animal control on because because. The character with the red ranger face and they meet the twin characters too. Time out. Yeah, I'm positive they're twins, but I'm DB it before you tell me I'm wrong in the comment section, bro. Time in. Aside from the random characters popping up all the time, the suspense works in this movie. See, the thing is, they're lost and they're looking for this one white guy, which I never understood because if you're lost, how in the hell are you supposed to find somebody else? You can't even find yourself technically. Thanks to a couple of breadcrumbs though, the search isn't as bad as it could have been. The main characters follow the trail to the pink and white house, and fast forward to the 44 minute marks in both movies, there's a celebration scene where the hat guy gives cups to the main characters to celebrate the special occasion. Also, there's a scene where the baby's reunited with his mommy, and you get a bit teary eyed and stuff, but still. Even though babies are in this movie, I wouldn't recommend letting your children watch it without supervision because of the heavy drug use. There's a drug dealer character that breaks Ice Cube's golden rule. Off your own supply. After a while, the search for the white character stalls when the trail gets cold and they don't know where to go next. The trail picks up again after they get with the striped cat and he leads them to the rich guy's backyard. When they meet the rich person, their first impression is horrible because they're caught vandalizing the rich person's backyard. In most states, trespassing is a misdemeanor, so you would think there's nothing to worry about. But no, because afterwards, they're detained and questioned by the powers that be and the crime doesn't fit the punishment. <laughs> Cut to the montage scene with the cards, and after the card montage, the main characters sneak off and narrowly escape the bad guys. One of the main characters gets the idea of retracing their steps and going back to where everything first went crazy. It works, and they find out that the person that they've been looking for has been taking a long nap the whole time. The film wraps up with a happy ending, which is technically a happy beginning since they're in the same backyard they were in at the beginning of the movie. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps>